Petco, just like PetSmart, began its founding as a different name, but it was the same business. It was called Upco. And it was founded by Walter Evans in 1965 in San Diego, California, as a mail order veterinary supply business catalog. In 1979, it would become Petco. Now, Petco is just like PetSmart. They got a lot of controversy uh, surrounding them where they really don't take care of their small animals, rodents, birds, fish, lizards, etc. Just like I said yesterday where PetSmart has a lot of controversy, Petco does as well. And this isn't controversy that is... I'm just saying there's controversy. There is controversy around them. They've been known to mistreat their animals, the small animals that they do keep inside their stores. So, anyway, besides that, let's get into the history of Petco. Like I said, that's one of the main reasons why I haven't done a history of these pet stores. Because they mistreat their small animals, like hamsters and, and uh, mice and rats. And gerbils and birds and fish and stuff. Anyway, besides that, let's get into the history of Petco. Petco was acquired by the Spectrum Group Company, as well as the Thomas H. Lee Company in 1988. Petco would go public on NASDAQ in 1994. It was subsequently acquired by Leonard Green and Partners and Texas Pacific Group in 2000. It was then again acquired by the CVC Capital Partners and the Canadian Pension Plan in 2021. A lot of acquisitions for Petco seems. Petco sells fish, small animals, like I said before, rodents and and uh, birds. They also sell pet food, pet supplies like toys and furniture and not furniture, but like you know what I mean, like beds and stuff. They also, in some locations, also offer dog obedience classes as well. Petco currently has 15,000 locations in Puerto Rico, the United States, and Mexico. Thanks for watching this video on the history of Petco.